In the hassle and bustle of modern life, there are so many important elements. You might find yourself with a busy and hectic schedule. There are certain elements of your life that you will need to sort out and organize. It is important to know to have a schedule and to plan things to make your life run smoother. This day on the most important devices you can use to help with your life is the smartphone. If you already have one, then you will know how important they are. There is so much that you can do with a smartphone and so many different ways in which they play a key role in your life. But many people do not know what makes the smartphone so special. Smartphone is an advanced comprise of screen, motherboards, casings and battery. So here we are going to focus in on the display. There are four main layers to an LCD panel. There's the outer protective layer, the polarizing layer or layers, the liquid crystal layer and the backlight. The outer protective layer is basically there to protect other components from getting damaged and it's usually made of clear plastic or glass. The polarizing layers help the crystal layer deliver the correct light or no light when off or black to your eyes. The most important part is liquid crystal layer which is what controls the colors pass through and ultimately the picture display. When an electric current is passed through the crystalline layer, liquid crystal cell coupled with filters of red, blue and green corresponding to the sub-pixel in the display twist to let backlight through at different intensities. The crystals filter the neutral backlight into certain color intensities and combine with neighboring crystals of different colors. The full range of millions of colors is created. The backlighting layer is almost always LED backlight and while there are different types of it, the one used almost always is white LED backlighting. This is where thin and solid white light emitting diodes LEDs, are placed behind the liquid crystal layer to provide a blaze light for the crystal to modify RGB LED. Backlighting also exists which allows for better color reproduction but this is more expensive and seldom used in smartphones. The smartphone's display is very important to the user itself because it is very large and it's made of, of glass. So, the properties of the smartphone has to be very strong when it drops to any surface. Also, the next property is that the phone has to be very bright when viewing under sunlight in order to get the best display. The best display is also the display that has highest screen to body ratio you can see from an iPhone X it has an edge to edge screen performing every inch of the display then the screen display itself also has to have the best viewing angles regardless the angle when being viewed having the best display is very important because it's a company's reputation towards the product. Every phone have their own type of glass which protect from scratch and sharp tools. Most of the phones are using the glasses made by Corning known as Corilla Glass. Year of year, scratch resistance are improved to form the glasses with scratch proof. We will show a portfolio of three types we use to test the Corilla Glass scratch and retain screen performance relative which is between Glass D, Everyday Solar Glam Glass, and Gorilla Glass 5. Weaker Hardness Test This industry standard test accurately measures the material's hardness by pressing it with precision diamond teeth inverted pyramid with 200 grams of force. The less indentation, the harder the materials and the less it will scratch. The test shows Gorilla Glass 5 has scratch resistance equal to Gorilla Glass 4 and both are harder than soda lime glass and plastic. Tumble test To replicate the damage cover glasses face in the real world, replace the glass samples in a cylinder along everyday object you might find inside the purse. The cylinder tumbles at a precise rate for a set length of time. The result Gorilla Glass 5 is equal to Gorilla Glass 4 in withstanding scratches. Abraded ring on ring test to test for retained range, we can cover glass by sandblasting it with silicon carbide. We can then measure its retained range by applying a uniform field of tensile stress. The tougher the carbover material, the more stress it can withstand. 
Before breaking the test shows that Gorilla Glass 5 Return Strange is equal to Gorilla Glass 4 and both are tougher than Soda Lime Glass. The combination of scratch resistance and return strength is unique. Gorilla Glass enabling it to significantly outperform Soda Lime Glass and plastic. In Gorilla Glass 5, is designed with a unique material and properties that enable it to survive drops under rough surface from 1.6 meters up to 80% of the time. Making it clear choice of cover material for today's mobile lifestyle. Next, we will talk about a very popular sensor which is used in mobile phone known as ambient light sensor ALS. An ambient light is the sensor that reads the light of the environment surrounding then it processes the light reading and outputs the correct amount of lighting onto the phone screen according to the light being detected. Ambient light sensor consists of photodiode which is a device that is sensitive to different spectrum of light and it can convert light onto current. So, in the bright surrounding, the intensity of light received by the light sensor will be high and as a result, the brightness of the screen will be increased. Similarly, in a low light environment, the brightness of the screen will be decreased. So, the specification can help to extend the phone battery life and give you the best version for your display. Another offers that light comes from the individual pixel themselves rather than a black light that the LCD screen would use. LCD screen generally being brighter than AMOLED screens, making them better for viewing in direct sunlight. AMOLED displays can be thinner or weak, to there not be a backlight behind the screen, but they are costly to produce, resulting in higher price. While both displays technology have great viewing angles, I think there is a slight edge to LCD IPS. Angles that LCD displays look slightly better than the OLED display. Most screen like their LCD with a fluorescent effect backlight. However, phone often use LCD backlight to save space and power. One nit is approximately the light emitted by a common candle. Therefore, a thousand nits equals a thousand candles worth of brightness. This is an example of testing the nits on an iPhone. The iPhone X is a great example. When under sunlight, the iPhone still beats other phones when it comes to the nets. Because it is an OLED. OLED has 1000 nets. So now, we are going to look on how the display looks alike under the microscope. First is the LCD. The pixel looks smaller since the aperture are built for the pixels around the corner to mask some of the light coming through on top of the anti-aliasing the curving software. Next is the organic light emitting diode or we can call it as OLED. It is a light emitting diode in which the emitted electroluminescence layer is a film of organic compound. It has a lower cost in the feature. It has a lightweight and flexible plastic substrate, better picture quality, better power efficiency and also better response time compared to LCD. So now you are looking at micro LED under the microscope. Micro LED is an emerging flat panel display technology. As the name implies, this micro LED display consists of array of microscopic LEDs forming the individual pixels elements. When we compare it to the LCD technology, micro LED display offer lower latency, higher contrast ratio and also greater color saturation, plus a better efficiency. Unlike OLED, micro LED is based on conventional GAN LED technology which offer far higher total brightness than OLED as well as the higher efficiency and it doesn't suffer from the shorter lifetime like OLED. Why all those tests are applied to the display before it proceeds to another step of manufacturing? Huh, the answer is to provide a quality display that is very suitable with the consumer or buyer expectation towards the product. For instance, iPhone X display, it has a lot of characteristics which is the display is made of OLED screen 
that is resistant to the scratch so that it is good for keeping the display clear. I will explain to you about the limitation for manufacturing smartphone screen. Firstly, we focus on micro LED screen. Micro LED or micro light emitting diodes are an emissive display technology. Micro LED is an inherently complex display technology with course drivers different from those of incumbent technologies. They are so prohibitively expensive to build right now because of the cost that 4 or 5 times the amount to manufacture and implement as compared to LCD or OLED panels. Micro LED have more structural and will take a longer time to get over. Mainstream aside from the huge money cost of actually ramping up production and investing in it. Manufacturing in micro LED panels with our current technology and the way we do things, we can place micro LEDs on the back panel at around plus minus 34 micrometer of accuracy. But what we need is only 1.5 micrometer plus minus. They are hard to make and they are not yet commercially viable and they will be definitely expensive. Micro LED displays can deliver on the key promise of low energy consumption and it is difficult to handling of the smaller size up to 10 micrometer chips and positioning accuracy. Then we focus on sapphire screen. Sapphire screen or sapphire glass is an application of synthetic sapphire generally produced by subjecting aluminium oxide powder under extreme heat and pressure. Further heat treatment removes internal stress before processing into thin sheets. The sapphire glass is difficult to produce in large quantities considering the associated cost despite an established manufacturing process. Sapphire glass costs several dollars per square inch. This production cost would drive the price of smartphones or tablet devices with sapphire glasses high. To producing synthetic sapphire, it would take more than 2030 degrees Celsius to melt sapphire then it will beat the environmental issues. This would consume tremendous amount of energy resulting in high energy costs. It is also possible that a sapphire glass has higher carbon footprint than standard glass. It would be impractical to equip smartphone or tablet devices with this material without raising their overall price and these devices have shorter life span than other products. The cruise is topic of the display of a smartphone. The display has to be recycled and also the other components because we live in a limited resource. Meet Liam. When it's time, Liam deconstructs your iPhone. Parts are detected and removed and separated so the materials inside those parts can be repurposed to rescue cobalt and lithium from the battery separate the gold and the copper in the camera extract silver and platinum from the main logic board so the materials in your iPhone can live on because in a world with limited resources some things can't be replaced.